did them last year. Oh, mate. I want to make this Christmas very homemade and cozy. <laughs> There's so many. Look at them. So I'm going to do these and get this place smelling like a beautiful orange smell. <laughs> guys welcome back to amelia god well today is a bit of a rainy day and i've got my tea now i live in australia so it is hot it isn't that hot yet though which i am loving it is so nice it's a good temperature today and it just is raining so i just want to do some christmas stuff at home we're going to do some diys just very simple ones i've got some things i want to spray paint i want to put up my garland across my windows do some dried oranges some very homey vibes i want to make this christmas very homemade and cozy so that's the kind of look I'm going for. I did this tree with my sister the other day for our channel, Amelia and Bridie. So go check that out. I'll link that up here. So yeah, let's go and make this house a home with Christmas. So first DIY yeah, I'm gonna do is dried oranges. They are my favorite. I did them last year on my Amelia and Bridie channel with my sister. First time I ever did it and it was so much fun. I actually had my daughter helping me, Evie, but she's with her grandma today. So it's just gonna be me doing them today. But they actually lasted all year and they're on my tree this year, but they kind of went more of a, a deeper, kind of burnt orange type look, which I absolutely love. And I don't know if that's because they're in storage for a year or it's just because I burnt them last year. I don't know, maybe a combo of both. But I'm gonna do them again this year and put them up on my garland for my window. I just moved here, if you didn't know, and we have this beautiful window just overlooking just the next door neighbor's garden. <laughs> but it's so pretty and so bright and I just love, I don't love doing the dishes, but I love standing there and at least looking at something pretty. So I want to make a beautiful garland above here with some dried oranges, maybe some gold bells that I'm going to spray paint later. Just make it look so beautiful and homey. So I'm going to do these and get started and get this place smelling like a beautiful orange smell. <laughs> What I love to do with like the ends of the oranges, obviously you can't really dry them, they won't look as pretty. I just like chuck them into a pot and simmer them with some cinnamon and clove. Oranges in the oven itself is great cooking. The aroma in the house is amazing, but to add it on top of like the cinnamon and stuff on the stove, mm, it smells so good. Such Christmassy vibes. So I've got the oven on preheat on 90, 90? Yeah. 200 Fahrenheit apparently, which is equivalent to like 93 Celsius. So um, I've got that on and I'm gonna keep it on for like two to three hours, depending on the size of your orange rinds. They might be a bit larger, so they might take longer. And I'm gonna like turn them over every like half an hour and hopefully it'll do a good round of drying. I've got this bell decoration that I got from the $2 shop and it was $7 and I love it but I am not so fond of this color it's like I don't know if you can see it's like a coppery color and they've kind of tried to make it antique by blotting black paint on it and I'm just like not fussed on the look of it so I want more of an antique gold so I'm going to take these off, I'm going to undo the wire at the back, take them off, spray them with some gold spray paint, and I might add some black paint to it, I'm not sure yet, I'll see what this looks like by itself. And then I'm going to thread them and make a garland to put up the top there, or I might make it like this again and maybe change that up the top. I'm not too sure yet, but I thought that was a great find, because usually these are like $30 Plus. Go check out your two dollar shops because you never know what you can find, especially at Christmas time. Okay, spray!
Okay, I just went through my garland and I had a plastic bag. I don't know why I'd put it in a plastic bag. Oh, mate. I don't even want to touch it. I don't know what's eating it, but I think it's those moths. All the orange oranges that I put in a garland last year, I just left in this bag. It was just like an open bag and they've just been eaten, destroyed. Look. <laughs> Yuck. I think it was like a moth that's eaten. I've seen that before happen. Yuck. But the ones that I kept for the tree, I put them in a Ziploc and they didn't get eaten at all. They were fine. Oh, dang it. What a bummer. That would have been so good. Hi, you my little helper. <laughs> you my little helper today? Hi. Yeah. I need to put some nails up here. I think I need a longer garland. So I tried the garland up there, but it's too short. Like, I mean, it fits, but it's not like luxuriously long and going down the sides and cute like that. So. I want it to be like that, so I joined two of them together. I overlapped them and like twisted them together, but then left a little bit of the single bits at the end, just kind of draping down to make it longer. So it's more lush in the middle and it kind of tapers down to be less. So that's a good trick. I just figured out then. So anyway, I'm gonna use some finishing nails and I'm gonna just pop these up the top so then I can wrap the the garland around it and it should stay and you won't see the finishing now so ow <laughs> so the nails didn't work eyes and i'm just going to tie the garland up with some string around the blind because there's a blind up there and it's got like a bracket so i'm just going to tie it around there hopefully it'll stay say hi i love you can you see your tail? Who's that? Who's that? Hey. Hey. Look at all those teeth. Look at them. There's two down there and there's four up here. <laughs> there's so many. Look at them. My big boy. So I have all the, the bells that I spray painted, the gold, which look amazing, but I want to go the next level and actually put some paint on it or like a dye or something, whatever you've got. But I've got this in my cupboard. It's like a burnt amber, it says. It's just acrylic paint. Uh, I'm going to test it out and maybe just kind of rub it on a little bit and rub it off just to give it like that antique vibe. So we'll see how that turns out. Fingers crossed.
It was so much fun to create beautiful things and make it like a homey vibe so i really hope you enjoyed this and um don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and this video and we'll see you next time thanks for watching guys bye